So, I'll tell you what. I'll give you a little story. Here's my story. Thinking about how Kevin just had his son, uh, it makes me think back to when we had our son. And uh, not, not me and Kevin, but my wife and I. <laughs> Woo! All right. So, let me set the scene here for you. It's maybe two or three days after Jude's been born. He, I think maybe it's his first night sleeping with us, because for the first two nights, yeah, I think it was two nights, the first two nights he was sleeping with all of the other babies, and then on the third night, or fourth night, one or the other, they brought him to us. And uh, he slept in the room with us that night. Now, my wife got a private room. Um, it seems like one of her friends was working at the clinic, and got us a private room for no extra cost or something. So in the room, there was a twin-size bed, which my wife was sleeping on, a crib for June to sleep on, and then there's a red sofa, a red leather sofa. And this sofa, it was a, a two-seater sofa, and it had no arms on it. But the special thing about it was that it could fold back. So you could fold it back. And that night, I slept there in the room on that little sofa thing. It was an awful night. June woke up two or three times and each time he was up, he was up for 30, 45 minutes each. And it was just awful. The next day I had to get up early because I had to go back to uh, grandma's house and change where we were living at the time and change. So I had to be up at six o'clock anyway, 5.30 or six to hop on a train, head back home, change, shower and go to work, right? So anyway, that morning, about 5.30ish, I was up and I was on that little stool, or that, that sofa, right? And for some reason, I had June. I don't remember why. I know that Yuki had gone to the bathroom, so maybe she had been holding June, and then she gave him to me. But for whatever reason then, I was holding June. And I decided that I would stand up. Now the legs on this sofa are very close together. I want you to imagine the, the sofa, there's quite a bit hanging off the edge when it's folded over like that. So as I went to stand up with June, I got over, I turned that thing into a, it pivoted, it pivoted, it acted as a, a lever, and it started going down. And I was like, oh crap. So I'm, I'm just, I've just woken up, I've had no sleep, and then here I'm starting to topple over with June in my arms. I thought, oh crap, well if I fall over now, I'll kill him. So I, my first reaction was just let him go. So there I was, about to tumble over with my three-day-old infant in my arms. And uh, if if I don't put my arms down, I will just roll over and just ride on top of him. So I just let him go. Now I know what you're thinking. He just went plop. No, 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 no. It wasn't like that. It was more of uh, a roll onto the ground. <laughs> so. As he, wait a second, so as I unfurled my arms, he kind of rolled down my arms and then kind of look, kind of quickly down my legs, I think, if I remember correctly, and then he maybe he fell at the most three or four inches onto the ground and then I, I caught myself with my other arm, but I was so freaked out. I was uh, scared, to say the least, and you keep us in the bathroom. Knock, knock, knock. Oh, uh, Yugi! Uh, and of course, he was crying at that point. Oh, uh, Yugi! And she opened the door. Uh, can, can you... Because I need to go anyway, right? I need to leave to go to work. Can you have the nurse check out June? I'm, I'm kind of worried about him. I, he kind of just uh, tumbled out of my arms. Could you just have, have the nurse look at him? I, I think he's probably okay, but just... And so, uh, I went ahead and I went into work. I was so, so worried that... I, I had broken him or, you know, something awful had happened. I was so scared. And then, of course, she had the nurse look at him and the nurse said, nah, he's fine. But, gosh, I was so scared. I couldn't believe it. Three, four days old, I'd already dropped him. Despite his parents' own inadequacies, God has allowed him to grow into a somewhat normal person. And actually, in all honesty, you, you are the first people to ever hear this story. Alright, so that's my story, y'all. Peace.